Hey everyone! Today I want to dive into a heated topic in Zimbabwe, the government's new land policy, and the fierce opposition it's facing from the war veterans. So, let's set the stage. The Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association, led by Andreas Ethan Mathibela, is up in arms against the government's recent decision. Why? Because the government plans to allow the sale or transfer of farms that were acquired through the land reform program. Mathibela and his fellow war veterans see this as a betrayal. They've been vocal, saying this policy goes against everything they fought for during the liberation struggle. To them, land reform wasn't just about redistributing land, it was about righting historical wrongs and empowering marginalized communities. Allowing the sale of these farms, they argue, could result in land concentration in the hands of a few, reversing the gains made over the years. Let's dig a bit deeper. These veterans stress that the new policy was rolled out without any public consultation. They feel it's crucial that the citizens have a say in such significant decisions. Mathibella himself highlights a glaring issue. A large percentage of war veterans, including him, still don't have land. Imagine, the very people who fought for this land are now left without it. And here's a kicker. The government recently paid a whopping 3.5 billion US dollars as compensation to former white farmers. Meanwhile, many war veterans remain landless. It's a situation loaded with irony and frustration. But the government has its reasons. They argue that this move is necessary to breathe new life into Zimbabwe's struggling agricultural sector. By allowing the sale of farms, they hope to attract investment and improve land use, ultimately boosting productivity. This decision, however, has sparked a nationwide debate. Some people see it as a practical step towards modernizing agriculture and improving the economy. Others, like the war veterans, believe it undermines the spirit of the land reform and risks reconcentrating land ownership. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. On one hand, economic growth is crucial. On the other, the historical and social significance of land reform can't be overlooked. The government is walking a tightrope, trying to balance these competing interests. This whole controversy shines a light on the underlying tensions and challenges related to land ownership in Zimbabwe. Since independence, land reform has been an emotional and sensitive topic. The struggle to balance economic development with social justice continues to be a significant challenge. So, what's the way forward? Mathibela and the war veterans are calling for more inclusive and transparent policymaking. They believe open dialogue and consultation with all stakeholders, including the veterans and other affected communities, are essential to address concerns and find sustainable solutions. In the end, it's about making sure that the sacrifices made during the liberation struggle aren't forgotten and that the benefits of land reform are shared equitably. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you next time.